Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 which is a new item type called equation of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is called an equation, even though it looks like a calculator. So it's like the free response that we used to have on the old paper and pencil star test. You're just, you're just typing in what you want. There's no enter button. You just leave it just like that. This is the backspace button. You can undo and you can redo. Uh, and then if you really need to, these little arrows kind of let you move and just backspace to certain areas. But you're just typing in the answer, just like we used to fill it in on the answer sheet. So let's see what's going on. Let's graph and draw this here. All right. And so we are going to make it a little bit more transparent so we can see what's going on behind there. We'll use the draw feature. So Rajesh bought two salads for 365 each. All right, so let's draw that. So here's my salad, 365. Here's another salad, 365. All right, and a sandwich for 435, just one sandwich. Let's make it like a foot long or something. So 435. All right, there's my foot long. All right, I wonder how much that is. They don't tell us yet. All right, we don't know what the total is. He gave the clerk 15 bucks. Okay, so he's going to pay with a 10 and a 5. And we need to know how much change. All right. Well, in order to know how much change there is, first I need to figure out how much did he spend. So if I wanted to represent this in a strip diagram, like a part, part, whole, actually technically it'd be a part, 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 whole. This is what we're looking at. We're looking at 365 twice, and then we're looking at a 435, and we're missing the total. So let's add those up. And you know what, we'll use the little dots that they, or the spaces they give us, these little grids, to keep everything nice and lined up. So 435. All right, let's add here. 5, 10, 15. All right, so I've got 12, 13, 16. And then 3, 6, 10, and then that 1 is 11. All right, so 11.65 is my total for the meal. And if this were a multiple choice, I can guarantee you 11.65 would be an incorrect answer. They always want you to take that subtotal and select that as an incorrect answer. But that's not what it's asking. It's asking how much change. Well, he paid with 15 bucks. The whole thing cost 11.65. So I'm going to draw a new strip diagram because now I'm comparing so what's the difference here between 15 bucks and 11.65 all right and so that means we got to subtract those two let's see how much change Rajesh should get back now when i'm subtracting i'm going to go ahead and make it a full 15.00 i'm going to need that because i do have dollars and cents I will need to regroup across zeros, so I'm going to be very careful, because that's kind of tricky. So I can't do 0 minus 5, borrow from the 0, but there's nothing there. So I need to borrow from the 5. That's a 4 now. But I break it up into this the tenths place here. Now that's 10. Take one of those away, that's 9. Now I can make 10 hundredths, and I'm good to go. That's going to be a 5. It's going to be a 3. And that's going to be a 3. So 335. All right, so I need to keep that in my brain as I come back here. Let's go ahead and just 3.35. Like I said, there's no enter button. And we don't need to worry about the dollars and cents. That is our answer.